toilet paper hand sanitizer, and now glass. We've seen a number of supply chain shortages throughout the pandemic, but the latest victims appear to be those in the beverage industry. And there's a number of uh, those businesses here with wineries, distilleries, and liquor stores in the region. Kelly Grossfield spoke with a few business owners who say they're definitely feeling the impact. Business owners I spoke with say they started seeing this problem a few months ago and there's no telling when it will end, but they're still continuing to deliver their product to the public as best as they can. Try Liquor in Piney Flats has managed to keep its shelves stocked, but getting alcohol bottled in glass has proved extra challenging in recent weeks. In the past when I would do say a 50 case deal of something, now I'm lucky to get three cases, you know, or they've cut it down to one case um, because that's all they have. From liquor stores to local distillers, Neil Robertson says he's had to switch from their signature glass bottle they've been using for the past decade to plastic. And he says the switch doesn't come with a lower price tag. Under normal conditions, plastic would be cheaper. However, these are not normal conditions. And believe it or not, the plastic has went up just as much as the glass has. On Tuesday, the shortage really sunk in as they packaged their last remaining pallet of glass bottles. It's currently a challenge for everyone in the beverage industry. Now when I order something, it's, oh, it's back ordered. And it's across the board. It's crazy how much stuff I cannot get. Before, I could get things in a couple of weeks, you know, or a week or two. But now it's six weeks out. It's seven weeks out. If I don't place orders now, then I won't get it. Shane Abraham says they're seeing this issue as well in the liquor stores they run, but also on the other end of their business when it comes to construction. We're feeling that though, and not just in the um, retail uh, side of things, but in construction and manufacturing as well, more so in the construction with um, window packages and things that we need and different components that go along with those window packages. Neil Robertson says his vendors estimate about eight months to a year for the next shipment of original glass bottles. With no end in sight, these businesses are adjusting however they can to keep delivering their products. In Piney Flats, Kelly Grossfield, News Channel 11. We recently noticed an uptick in Dr. Enough bottles in plastic, and that's that local, regional, very well-known beverage. When we asked if this was because of supply chain issues, Vice President of Local Sales Patrick Sergil sent us a statement saying we're aware of current ongoing supply chain issues, but have not really been impacted them. As far as Dr. Enough in plastic, that's something we've always had for certain vending locations along with school grounds. They said we're uh, working with our glass company, so we're in good position in terms of supplies for the near future, end quote from that.